Alicia Katarkar. I am a senior theater major. Um, right now, I am directing Living Out, which is part of our rep. The rep uh, started a couple years ago as a way to get new plays into our season. Um, we basically pick three uh, contemporary shows to do in rotation for about two weeks. Uh, and it's a play about a woman who is living in the United States. She's from El Salvador. She lives here with her husband and her youngest son. And her oldest son is still in El Salvador. And uh, they're trying to raise enough money to bring him to the States. We're not going to quit till we get the mass. One of the nannies from the park, she paid $5,000 to a coyote to bring her son. They brought him in the wheel well of a truck. So to help speed up that process, she gets a job uh, working for an upper middle class white family as their nanny. Uh, and the family she starts working for, their new parents for the first time, they're both lawyers, so they're trying to get their footing as, a, as parents and whatnot. And that sort of just explores that story and how she becomes a part of their lives. Lisa does a really nice job of what she calls exploring how and why we make the other, the other with a capital O, without getting too high concept. She just looks at the way that we reassure ourselves that, that other people are different, particularly people from other countries with different ethnic backgrounds, that we somehow feel safe if we can keep them at arm's length. And, and uh, she looks at what we lose, what we miss out on by doing that. Um, and she gets at it in a really smart way, in a really personal, funny, uh, heartbreaking kind of way, and that to me was what was most interesting, that she takes these sort of big sociopolitical concepts and makes them really personal, um, which was nice. It was a little bit of a different process for me in that um, she writes sort of in the style of a sitcom, and so you have to get at these really nitty-gritty, specific, personal things when you're working with your actors, like, like any show, but then you also, at some point in time in the process, have to embrace that it's a comedy, and that it's a big comedy, and that there's a lot of, you know, uh, punchline laugh type lines, and how do you do that without the whole thing becoming campy and cheesy and losing sight of the fact that she's getting at some, some big, important issues. How do you drive without a license? Carefully. Very carefully. That's why people who don't got licenses better drivers. So that was a challenge um, and something that I had never had to do before. Uh, and I think it was really just about trusting my actors. I had really smart, really funny actors who, as soon as we got in the space, uh, picked up on that vibe and started to run with it. And so that was really great for me. I got lucky with a great cast. And I think that I do my best to, at, at the beginning of every rehearsal to sort of sit on my hands and let them work things out. And um, by the end of rehearsal, yeah, definitely up out of my chair in the space, showing them how I want things to go and, um, and demonstrating things and acting things out and gesticulating wildly. But I do, I do try to start every process from like, no, I'm going to let you guys discover. And then we go from there and we push and pull. And they push me too, um, which is nice that I have actors who aren't afraid to demand of me what they need. So that's always a great collaborative process. Gosh, it's tricky. It's a tricky little script because they're basically either in one of two places. They're in the house or they're in the park. Um, but there are two different married couples. And so in theory, there are two different houses. Um, but the way she sort of, Lisa's sort of written the script is that um, both couples are supposed to operate simultaneously in the same house. So you have a lot of scenes that are like one couple's in the kitchen interacting, the other couple's in the living room interacting. And you, uh, the audience has to jump on board with the fact that they're in two different houses but in the same physical space. I think that what struck me initially was, was sort of these big themes and ideas that she's getting at with, with the idea of like accidental racism and the politics of being a working mom and um, the politics of making the other the other. So those were the things that touched me reading it on the page. And then as soon as we got into the space, and I had actors working on it, all of a sudden they were real people. And that to me is what's become most compelling, is that they're sort of these rich, interesting, idiosyncratic, funny people. Um, and that it's really a story about these people that at the end of the day, yeah, hopefully you're coming away with something larger. But ultimately we're just interested in telling the story of Anna and Bobby and Nancy and Richard and the nannies and, and the Anglo moms in the park. Um, so that for me has changed the most. It's gone from being sort of this big high in the sky thing to really specific and, and really fun and funny.